So for number two, um, we're given this matrix X that is multiplied by a vector Y. So now the matrix is this one right here. It's 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So when we multiply this by the vector uh, y1, y2, y3, we're going to have, um, that's going to be, for the first row, we're just going to have y1 multiplied by 1. So that is going to be 1, y1. We would have here y2 multiplied by 0, but that doesn't count, and y3 multiplied by 0, so that also doesn't count. So we have 1, y1. For the second row, we're going to have 1, y1 uh, plus 1, y2. And similarly, y3 is just going to disappear. So we're going to have 1y1 plus 1y2. Um, and for the third one, we are going to have 1y1, um, 1y2, and 1y3. So we're going to have 1y1 plus 1y2 plus 1y3. Um, and now they want us to solve uh, these, this S Y S times Y is equal to B um, for different B's. So it means that which value of Y1, Y2, Y3 is going to first give us this vector 1, 1, 1. Um, and so the first element, it matches with 1. And so we can see from here that Y1 is equal to 1, right? The second, the second element here Actually, I should put it like this. The second element here is going to match with this one, so is equal to one. And from here, we can have we can see that one because y one is equal to one plus y two is equal to one. So the only way that this is possible if y two is equal to zero, right? Because then we're going to have one plus zero is equal to one. And similarly, the third element is going to give us one. So we're going to have here y1, 1 plus 0 plus y3 is equal to 1. And we can see here that the only way is if similarly y3 is equal to 0. Um, so for this first system over here, we have that y1 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to 0, and y3 is equal to 0. OK, now let's do the other system where instead of the b uh, being 1, 1, 1, we're now given the vector 1, 4, 9. So um, similar to what we did before, we have that uh, y1 is going to be equal to the first entry here. So we can see here that is 1, right? So we have that y1 is equal to 1. And for the second, for the second row, we're going to have that it's equal to this element here, 4. So 1 plus y2 is equal to 4, and therefore our conclusion is that y2 is equal to 3. And for the last one, we're going to have that 1 plus 1y2, which is plus 3, plus y3 is going to be equal to 9. So from this, we can see that um, if we bring the 3 and 1 to the other side, we would have that um, y3 would be equal to 5. So what do we see here in this pattern? And actually, let me just write down the solution. We have that y1 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to um, 3, and y3 is equal to 5. So what's the pattern that we have? Is that these y's, they are the odd numbers, right? Um, if this were a 4 by 4 matrix, the next one would be that y4 is equal to 7, and then y5 is equal to 9, and so on and so forth. So the y's are the odd numbers. However, our matrix here represents their sum, right? If you can see here that the first, the first row is just the sum of y1, the second row is going to be y1 plus y2, the third row would be y1 plus y2 plus y3, and if this were 4 by 4, the fourth row would be y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4. And so we can see here that every row is the sum of all the odd numbers, right? And so what I can say here, okay, is that this one right here, this is the sum of the first odd number. This one right here is the sum of the second odd number, of the second and the first. This one right here is the sum of the first three odd numbers. And so the pattern, when they ask us, the sum of the first n odd numbers is, if we can see here, the sum of one is one, the sum of this first two is four, the sum of the first three is nine, and we can see that the sum is just going to be n squared. 
and then the sum of the first four terms would be 16 and so on and so forth. So that is the pattern here. And actually, let me, I'm going to erase all of this here so we have space and I'm just gonna say that this is n squared. And that is it for number two.